Hello everyone. In this short video, I want to show you how you can create a sewing pattern on my website. There are two types of patterns, well, the patterns and the pattern kits. The pattern kits have much more options to customize your pattern, but right now let's have a look at the patterns. So here we have the available patterns. You can filter these. We have pants, tops, dresses, or skirts. I'm looking for a top right now. That means I'm looking for a simple jersey shirt. Yes, it's the one down here. It's called Daisy. Let's click on that. And I want to sew this version with a turtleneck and long sleeves. So I click on create pattern. And here I have some additional versions from which I can select. You can sew this pattern with bustards or without bustards. Bustards are a bit unusual in knits, but if you have a slightly bigger bust, it really, really helps with a fit. So I recommend to give it a try. I also want to change the neckline to the turtleneck as stated before. And now the only thing left to do is to select a size. You can select from a long list of sizes. When you are unsure which size you need, check the table and select the size which comes nearest to your measurement. You can also upload a measure set with your own measurements, but it's a topic for a different video. Just select the 42 right now. I will also add some seam allowance. I like one to five centimeters. I could change the paper format also, but I will leave it to in A4 for my home printer. And now create pattern. And my pattern is done. I recommend you open it with Adobe Acrobat Reader. The free version is absolutely enough for this. And here we have the pattern. The first page contains an overview, so you can see our printed pages need to be assembled. And here we have the single pages. Just print them, cut away the two centimeters on the side, and glue them together. Just one last thing before you go and print your new pattern. You need to make sure that you print it in 100% size. There is a little control square somewhere on the patterns. You need to make sure that each side of the square is five centimeters long. Then you are good to go. If they are too small or too large, check your printer settings. And now, happy sewing.